Hey guys, in today's video I wanted to show you guys my skincare routine. I've really been trying to film this for quite a while and I just got done filming my uh, November favorites video. So this may not go up until a little bit after, like maybe two videos after I film that one or after I upload that one. But I look the exact same, that's why. And I have a lot of makeup on right now, so I want to show you guys my skincare routine, how I take off my makeup, how I get off this whole cake face. And yeah, so if you guys want to see how I remove this and how I keep care of my skin, then keep on watching. So let's start with the first thing I use when I try to get off not try when I get off my makeup is a cleansing oil they just really hydrate your skin and they melt off your makeup so like perfectly I used to use coconut oil to just take off my makeup and then I've heard things that like coconut oil is really good for your skin coconut oil can be bad for your skin they it can clog your pores so I don't know for sure if it can or cannot clog your pores so I just kind of uh, didn't use that anymore and I went on to a cleansing oil to melt off my makeup instead of actual coconut oil but I am using at the moment moment the julep love your bare face hydrating cleansing oil I was using one from Burt's Bees their cleansing oil I did like it except it uh, burned my eyes if I try to take off my eye makeup with it and I had to be really really careful so I do use this one now so I usually to use this I first just pump a pump or two into my hands I usually like to use quite a lot and then I rub it in between my hands and then I start massaging my cheeks and then I usually go to my forehead and then I get off the majority of my face makeup and then I go on to my eye makeup and I just take like my middle or my pointer finger and I just cleanse off the eyeshadows a little bit and the eyeliner and then lastly I like to get my eyelashes and then I'll go down to my lips and take off my lipstick because lips can be the most colorful area and the uh, part that it'll kind of spread the most so and it kind of gets all over my hands so that's pretty much how I do it after that I like to use some type of makeup remover and for that I've just lately have been using the Estee Lauder gentle eye makeup remover it's in this blue bottle this is a little like travel size bottle of it and I just take this on a cotton pad I've lately been using or the only cotton pads I really ever use are the ones from Swispers these are the cotton rounds I have the regular ones and I also have the exfoliating ones I love the exfoliating ones because they just kind of lightly exfoliate your skin while you're removing your makeup so I like to take um, this stuff and I just take off all my um, the leftover cleansing oil and I just kind of wipe off all the cleansing oil with that then once I am done with that I like to go in with makeup wipes just to get off any extra anything because I do like to use face masks after this so I want to make my skin extra extra clean extra extra clean so the ones I am constantly using, these are the only makeup wipes I've ever really used for the past two, three months because they're so cheap and they work really well. These are the refresh, Refreshing Wet Cleansing Towelettes from Up and Up. You get these at Target. They're 99 cents a pack of 10, so it's a super good deal. And you can also get them in a pack of like 30, but it's like 350, so you do save like 50 cents when you just get the smaller ones. So that's usually what I do. And I just buy like three of them usually at a time and that's like only three dollars for 30 wipes And it's amazing. They take off your makeup so well. They're so gentle My face just feels like not irritated at all Which I have had problems with in the past with some makeup wipes that they just are too rough for my skin Because sometimes the material the makeup wipes are made out of can irritate my skin or the solution itself But I have had no problems with these they're just amazing and they just wipe off everything perfectly. I don't wash my face before I put on a face mask because let's be real, I'm just honestly too lazy to. That's why I go through three steps to get off all the makeup first. And then after that, my skin is pretty much makeup free. So I like to go in with a face mask. I do this about once or twice a week, mostly using the uh, Noog or Nug face masks. These are You can get these you can find these at Target. Um, these are just the little individual individual ones. I'm pretty sure you can get like larger tubs of them. But I just like these little individual ones because I get usually around three uses out of them. And I think they're like a dollar or a dollar ninety nine. And I'm actually kind of running out on face masks because I've been so face mask crazy. But this one, they smell really good. They're super 
like moisturizing most of them this one I'm, I'm using right now is the hydrating face masks but i will use like almost any one from new they are all fantastic and they all like really make my skin feel good and i will usually hop in the shower and in the shower i use my face wash and for face wash right now i'm using the clean and clear essentials foaming facial cleanser i will pretty much use any facial wash from clean and clear or i will use a face wash from clinique i really really love the face wash from clinique i don't know exactly what it's called i just ran out of it kind of recently but after that i switched into this this is like i said clean and clear i also like the morning burst one you know the acne fighting one the grapefruit one smells really good but um i've kind of tried a lot of them but right now i'm using this one and i love foaming cleansers so this just works really well and this is just what's really going to deep clean my whole face and yeah love this cleanser then also while i'm in the shower i will go in with any um exfoliator most of the time i'm using the saint ives um evening and bright exfoliator or if i'm breaking out or having like skin problems then i will use the apricot one which is for acne but usually i'm just using this one because i usually don't have problems with acne so this one just is really nice your skin it's pretty you know a general exfoliator and it's like pink lemon and mandarin oranges and it smells so good i think i've used like five of these and i just you get the little small ones because once again i mean they're cheaper you don't need they don't you don't run through them a lot and being a makeup collector i also do collect a lot of skincare stuff so i'm constantly kind of changing my skincare but it's all generally like the same products same brands so i'm just constantly using these saint ives ones and i just love these that's it for really removing my makeup then i'll go on to like actual skincare i'm really bad i do not I'm not good with doing any type of skincare in the morning, but for my nighttime skincare, what I start off with is a toner. If I don't have a toner or I'm out of a toner, this is kind of my backup. This is the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Gel Acne Treatment, and it's like really cheap. It has salicylic acid in it, so I mean it obviously does somewhat of a job, but usually I get pimples like right around this area, around like my this cheekish area and i get them right on the tip of my nose or on the sides of my nose so um if i just have like a pimple here or there i just kind of rub it on that and then i also get little bumps along my cheeks which isn't like acne but i don't know i just kind of rub it all over there just kind of as a toner ish kind of to go in with something for my eyes lately i have been using the estee lauder advanced night repair eye serum and i just use this just take a little bit on my finger and i dot it on underneath my eyes and above my eyes and then i kind of pat it in and then just do a little bit of a kind of swiping or rubbing in motion and then i like to put something all over my face uh, I was using coconut oil, uh, like, last year until, you know, I've heard that it can be bad for your skin, so I switched into just a heavy-duty moisturizer for the nighttime. I've been using the Estee Lauder Resilience Night Lift Cream. It is just a really thick and super moisturizing nighttime moisturizer, so that's why I like it, because usually nighttime moisturizers are, you know, more, like, moisturizing and much more thicker and um leaves your skin really like almost oily looking but in a good way for something super simple i do not do much in the morning i know people wash fa their face morning and night i'm not one of those people i just wash my face in the um at night and then it's just clean in the morning when i wake up and i get ready to put my makeup on but the only thing i do usually do is apply a light moisturizer this is the clinique Dr dramatically different moisturizing lotion love this stuff i think everybody like has used this stuff at some point if you've ever shopped at Clinique you get these constantly in like their free gifts when you pay so much money and I don't know it's just nice it smells good it's like a nice really refreshing uh, daytime moisturizer it's super lightweight it's just good for before I put on uh, my makeup you know I put some moisturizer on then some primer and then makeup is good for all day Th that is the end of my so skincare i routine. hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like this video with a thumbs up comment down below what you guys think as well as what your skincare routine is what are some products that you really like and i love hearing your guys' suggestions so if you have any product suggestions let me know as well as subscribe to become a beauty and be a part of our beautiful world hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next video bye